Welcome to Chemical and Biological Engineering, taught in five minutes. My name is Stuart McKnight, and I'll be in your instructor today, along with the help of Laura Boyle, Katie Davis, and Benny Farkas. Today, we're going to be talking about bioseparations, but in particular, liquid-liquid extraction. Here you can see a simplified diagram of, down, of the downstream process. First, the intercellular biomolecules must be removed from the cell. Only once this has happened can extraction occur. Once the product has been extracted, it goes through purification. If a high purity product is required, it will have a second final purification step before it's dehydrated and the solvent's removed and it's ready for a pack chain shipment. If the purity of the final product does not need to be as high, a second purification step does not happen, and after the extraction and purification, the product can be packaged and shipped off to the consumer. There are many types of bioprocessing separations, each with their own inherent benefits. Choosing the correct method of product extraction reduces cost and allows for efficient product purification. Sedimentation and um, centrifugation work well, along with filtration, but drum filtration, drum filtration and batch filtration are also very common. In drum filtration, a drum rotates through a slurry tank, and the vacuum sucks the um, solution through the membrane and the biomolecule forms as a cake around the drum. Air will then dry the cake and the cake is removed. In batch filtration, the biomolecule is pumped across the membrane and as the cake builds, the velocity of the liquid through the membrane decreases until a maximum pressure drop occurs, at which point the cake will no longer build. Liquid-liquid extraction is a very valuable method and works by relying on the solubility of different components and their affinities for different solvents. This is ideal for thermo thermally sensitive substances which cannot be separated through distillation. A feed stream which, is, um, which contains your biomolecule enters one extraction unit and then in a multi-step unit will enter the next unit. As with each subsequent unit, the concentration of the exiting raffinate stream will decrease. Countercurrent streams is an effective way to decrease your raffinate concentration um, while keeping the system um, economical. Solving liquid-liquid extraction is relatively simple. It's reliant on the concentration of the solute in both the heavy and the light stream and the flow rates of both of those streams. With those four pieces of information, values such as the rejection rate and the extraction factor, as well as the number of units necessary to reach a certain level of um, extraction can be calculated. In this question, we're asked to extract the biomolecule leaving a bioreactor. In this question, it's asked that we extract it through liquid-liquid extraction. The problem states that the solvent solution feeds into the extractor which contains three countercurrent units at 50 kilograms per hour with a concentration of three molar, while the biomolecule enters at 20 kilograms per hour with a concentration of six molar. What will the rejection ratio be after the three units? So we're able to find the concentration of our heavy stream to be three molar and the concentration of our light, light stream to be six molar. The distribution coefficient can be calculated from the concentration of the, of the light stream divided by the concentration of the heavy stream. This equates to 2. Once the KD has been calculated, the extraction factor can be calculated. This is done using the flow rate of the light stream and the heavy stream. The extraction factor equals the flow rate of the light stream times the distribution coefficient divided by the flow rate of the heavy stream. That equates to it being 1.33. The rejection ratio, which is what we're asked to solve, can be solved using the equation which relies on the extraction factor as well as the number of units in the counter current system. When that's solved, that equals 1.5. If the question were to ask what's the percent extracted for the process, that would be done easily using the equation in the previous slide, which relies on R. Hopefully that helped you prepare for your CBE 205 final exam and that the liquid-liquid extraction question will be easy. Thank you for joining us today.